Win. Hello, 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 and welcome to Mind Master, your cultural game show where you learn, play, and win every single day. And I'm your host, Kalenga Mubanga. The weekend is almost here, and I'm sure you're all super, super excited. Perhaps you can use this opportunity to win yourself some spending money. What do you think? So if you're ready to learn, play, and win on Mind Master, gather your family and let's get started. So how do you learn on Mind Master? As we always like to say, we pride ourselves in all things Zambian. That is what we do. So what happens is that we play one minute video clips either on our social media pages that is Facebook or YouTube, Mind Master Zambia. Or you can catch it live with me here on TV2 at 1840. And what is in this video clips? All things Zambian. We talk about our culture, we talk about our heritage, anything that actually shows who we are something that you and your family can sit together and actually learn about. Now, you always have to pay particular attention to those videos. Why? Because the quiz question and the answer is embedded right in that video. So you need to pay particular attention so that you know what the correct answer is. Now, what happens right after you watch the video? You participate and you play, of course. You do want to stand a chance to win 10,000 kwacha or a car or a house. And how do you do that? simply by sending the correct answer to 8050 via Zamtel or MTN. And the correct answer is only A, B, or C. And you send that to 8050 via Zamtel or MTN. What happens after that? Your mobile money provider will send you a pop-up asking you whether you want to pay 10 kwacha to participate in MindMaster. That's how much it is. It's only 10 kwacha to participate. So make sure you have a little bit more than 10 kwacha so that you can play as many times as possible because the more times you play, the higher the chances are of winning. Okay, so once you press send and you say, yes, you're paying the 10 kwacha, what happens? Your mobile service provider now alerts us and we enter you in the draw. And you stand a chance to win 10 pin daily like your friends are doing, or a car every month, or a house every single year. And I think that is so, so worth it. So before we move on to give out our money for yesterday's winner, we have a frequently asked question that we like to bring up. So today's frequently asked question, yet again, is how many times can someone play my master? You can play as many times as you want. As we always say, the more times you play, the higher chances are of winning. And remember, you can only play until 6 p.m. before the new question comes. So when we give out the question, you've got 24 hours to submit the correct answer for you to stand a chance to win a car, some money every day, or a house every single year. Now, isn't that fantastic? But right now, I think I need to give away some money because the owner is giving me a bad day. He wants his money right now, okay? So, Mr. Michael, please come up so we can give you your check. <laughs> Congratulations yet again, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Kunta, can I please have the check? He needs his money. <laughs> Thank you very much. There you go, Mr. Sakala. That is your 10,000 kwacha. Are you going to keep playing Mind Master? Yes, please. And do you also know that you're now eligible for the card draw this month? Yes, please. Okay, so you may be the win lucky winner. We don't know. Yes. No, but keep playing and thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yes. There you have it. Mr. Sakala has walked away with his 10,000 kwacha. He has some spending money for the weekend. What about you? Oh, you can have that as well if you learn, play, and win on Mind Master. So, what we're going to do right now is play yesterday's question and give you the correct answer. And the quiz question is, in the past, the thatched huts in Kawata Cultural Village were A, a laborer's house, B, hospital buildings, or C, school classrooms. And the correct answer is A, the laborer's houses. There you have it. If you submitted the correct answer as A to 8050 via Zamta or MTN, then you stand a chance to win a little 10 pin. You are going with it in your pocket. So what we're going to do right now is go to the draw. But remember that our draws are vetted by Commissioner of Oath. Can we have the draw, please?
dialing the lucky number now. Once it starts to ring, you've got 15 seconds to pick up my call. Hello? Hello, good evening. This is Hello? Mindmaster. Good evening. This is Mindmaster. Yes. Yes, sir. Congratulations. You've won yourself 10,000 kwacha. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you must be blessed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Well because done. Because of me. Ah, well, Zico, when you put a seven, you're very welcome. Congratulations. Where are you from, sir? Zico, 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 Mucho que la cuti, di mamulu saka. And di mau kafiu we. Ah we ziko, ah we la sevens abantu mau ina ten pin. No problem. So very visa, very visa chiti kapa. Very visa chiti kapa. Baza kuti mira ni ma bosses zika si da program. Ma esanti ba mukambisa ni voting zelandara ma. No problem, my dear. Congratulations yet again. There you have it. The 10,000 kwacha has gone straight to Kafiwe, out of Lusaka and into Kafiwe. That could be you, and he's now eligible for the card draw. So what we're going to do right now is that we're going to take a journey to the southern province in today's quiz. The Tonga are predominantly identified by their homeland in the southern province. Until recently, the Gwembe Tonga were raising gods. The main reason was the presence of flies in their region. In the 1950s, when the Kariba Dam was being built, these people were displaced by the new dam. In their new dwelling, there were less Tessaflies. This then allowed them to start raising cattle. Kato has taken a significant role in the Gwembe Tonga culture. For example, Kato is now used to pay for bride wealth. These Kato are called Ngombelia Mohoa. Kato is also used for plowing. Therefore, it is very important in the lifestyle of the Tonga, both in its culture and its economic activities. It is very rare to slaughter cattle for food, except the case of funeral. If people need cash, they sell cattle to acquaintances or buyers from Osaka. To slaughter goats for food is common. Cattle are prized in Tonga culture. They are even given the same names as humans. And today's question is, among the Tonga, cattle is used for A, for paying bride wealth only, B, for plowing only, C, for bride wealth and plowing. Okay, so what you do is right after this show, you start sending the correct answer to 8050 via Zamto or MTN only. And you've got until 6 p.m. tomorrow to submit the correct answers for you to stand a chance to win 10,000 kwacha on Mindmaster. I'm your host, I'm your host Kalenga Mubanga, saying bye. I will see you tomorrow. Keep playing and stay safe.